From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie. This local and regional news update is brought to you by Northway Bank. Want a Northway Bank teller to keep in your pocket? There's an app for that now available for iPhone and Android. Download yours today. Northway Bank with 17 locations throughout New Hampshire. The people you know, the bank you trust. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. The National Weather Service has issued a winter storm warning until 1 o'clock this afternoon for the Valley area. And a winter storm watch from Tuesday morning through Wednesday afternoon for northern Carroll County. Forecasters say snow and mixed precipitation, including freezing drizzle, will continue until this evening, followed by another round of significant winter weather Tuesday into Wednesday. Snow could be heavy this morning with additional accumulation of up to four inches that will create hazardous travel conditions with slippery roads. Temperatures are not expected to get out of the 20s today. A winter storm warning for heavy snow means severe weather conditions are expected or occurring that will make travel dangerous. Forecasters recommend you only go out in an emergency and keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your car. A winter storm watch means there's potential for significant snow, sleet, and ice accumulation that may impact travel and forecasters. Recommend you monitor the latest forecasts. Hikers and other rescues in rescued people in North in New Hampshire's backwoods would pay several hundred dollars in fees to the state to help bring the search and rescue fund out of the red under new legislation. House Republican leader Gene Chandler of Bartlett has filed a bill that proposes a variety of ways to raise money, including a fee paid by people who are rescued. The amount of the fee could be on a sliding scale based on the cost of the rescue. Fishing game major Kevin Jordan says recent rescue costs have ranged from less than $200 to more than $50,000. He says hunters, anglers, boaters, snowmobilers, and all-terrain vehicle riders pay 100% of the rescue costs through license fees, but make up an average of only 14% of the rescues since 2006. In Maine news, the state board looking for ways to improve Maine's regulatory climate is about to prepare a final report for the governor and legislature. The Maine Regulatory Fairness Board will meet in Augusta Thursday to review business regulatory and statutory issues highlighted during public hearings held over the past year. Maine business owners and managers of the public have made comments and suggestions on specific state rules and regulations that may unreasonably impede business sustainability and growth. On Thursday, the board will review testimony and consider recommendations to be included in its report to Governor Paul LePage and the new legislature next month. The board is chaired by Secretary of State Charles Summers and has four members who are or have been owners or operators of businesses in Maine. In sports... Marist rolled past Maine 94 to 69 yesterday in a non-conference matchup. BU beat Quinnipiac 69-62 in overtime. And the San Francisco 49ers clinched a playoff berth by withstanding a stunning comeback by New England from a 28-point deficit to beat the Pats 41 to 34 last night in the rain. In the weather today, a winter storm warning in effect until 1 o'clock this afternoon. A winter storm watch in effect for northern Carroll County from Tuesday morning through Wednesday afternoon. Sleet likely, snow, additional snow and sleet accumulation today of 2 to 4 inches, 1 to 3 inches in southern Carroll County with a small amount of ice accumulation possible. Highs in the upper 20s with light winds. Snow or sleet tonight, additional snow and sleet accumulation of 4 to 8 inches, 2 to 4 inches in southern Carroll County. Lows in the upper 20s. And snow or sleet or freezing rain in the morning Tuesday. Rain, additional snow and sleet accumulation up to 2 to 4 inches. Around an inch in southern Carroll County. Highs in the mid-30s. From the Northway Bank Online Newsroom, I'm Gary McKenzie.